Tutorial Video 1, Unboxing and Initial Setup. Hello, thank you for choosing Omron's TM Collaborative Robot, or Cobot, to assist your automation needs. We have prepared some videos to help you get started. In this first video, we will show you how to unbox the Cobot and do the initial setup. There are several Cobots in the TM series depending on your needs, but we will be using the TM5700 in the videos to explain the common features. For important safety information, please refer to the safety guide and the hardware installation manual. Unboxing the Cobot The Omron TM Cobot will be packaged in two cartons, the robot arm carton and the control box carton. The robot arm carton contains the Cobot arm. The control box carton contains the control box, the calibration plates, one large and one small, two packs of I.O. cables, two TM landmarks, a power cable, one pack of ground wire, and the robot stick. Mounting the Cobot The Cobot arm cannot stand independently after being removed from the carton. You must prepare the mounting base first. In this video, we will show you how to mount the Cobot onto the mobile workstation, which is designed to easily transport the Cobot around so that it can be quickly put to use. If you are installing the Cobot on other surfaces, please refer to the hardware installation manual. Before mounting the Cobot, make sure the mobile workstation is secure by locking the wheels and lowering the leveling feet. It is important for calibration and overall accuracy that the Cobot is level. At least two people should work together to remove the Cobot arm from the carton. Remove the cover and hold the Cobot in these locations. Place the Cobot on the mounting base. Tighten the four locking screws in an order similar to writing the letter X. One person should always be supporting the Cobot arm while the other secures the Cobot to the base. After removing the legs of the controller, slide it sideways into the mobile workstation. Connect the Cobot's power cable to the control box and the control box power cable to the power outlet. Connect a monitor, keyboard, and mouse to the control box or use your own laptop and connect via Ethernet. Connect the robot to the control box. To download the software, please visit our website. Initial Hardware Safety Setup you will see six safety jumpers on the back panel. You have two choices for safeguard mode. Connect your safety equipment, such as an area scanner or a light curtain, to jumpers three and four to enable safeguard A. For safeguard B, connect your safety equipment to jumpers five and six. Safeguard A will pause the cobot whenever the safety signal is triggered. With safeguard B, the cobot will go into collaborative mode, not pausing, but moving at a slower speed when the safety signal is triggered. Safety jumpers one and two are for emergency stop. When an emergency stop is triggered, either by someone hitting the e-stop button or when the cobot collides with an obstacle, the cobot will shut down. For now, we will remove jumpers five and six that are labeled safety B1 and safety B2 so that the cobot will automatically operate in collaborative mode. Booting up the Cobot for the first time. Your Cobot will be in the packing posture when it arrives. Let's boot the Cobot and move it into the safe posture. Press the emergency switch on the robot stick. Flip the power switch on the control box. Press the power button of the robot stick to start up the controller. It will take a few seconds to boot. Once you confirm that the controller has booted, release the emergency switch. The three lights on the robot stick will start to flash. The cobot's ring light will turn from red to light blue, indicating that it has entered into a safe startup mode. Find the button labeled free at the end of the cobot's arm. Use this free button to move the cobot into first time startup position. Please refer to the manual for the proper startup position. When you press and hold the free button, wait until the brakes release before attempting to move the cobot you will hear a clicking sound as each brake releases. Press and hold the stop button for two seconds. Then the cobot will enter the calibration process. At this time, each joint of the cobot will move slightly to calibrate. After the calibration is completed, the light ring will change to blue, 
indicating that the cobot has now successfully completed the first boot and that it can be used normally. At this initial stage, the cobot is in auto mode. We need to change this to manual mode in order to start programming the cobot. So let's talk about these different modes. Manual and auto modes. You can run the cobot in collaborative mode and non-collaborative mode, and each mode can be operated in manual mode or auto mode. To change from auto mode to manual mode, press the MA button on the robot stick once. In manual mode, the light ring will be green, and you can edit the project, the robot setting, and system setting while you are running the program. So manual mode is for when you are teaching or reteaching the cobot an application. You can change the speed, add a point, rearrange the sequence, etc. in manual mode. To change from manual mode to auto mode, press and hold the MA button until you hear a beep. Release the button and you'll see the indication lights start to blink. And the MA light on the robot stick will start flashing. Then press plus minus plus plus minus in sequential order. Now you are in auto mode. In auto mode, the light ring will be blue, and you can only run the program as it has been set. You will be using auto mode when the cobot is in actual operation. When the robot is in auto mode during non-collaborative operation, the light ring will flash between purple and blue. Okay, so let's get back into manual mode to start programming the cobot. When the cobot is in manual mode during collaborative mode operation, the light ring will flash between purple and green. This concludes video one of the Omron TM series tutorials. In the next video, video two, we will go over how to program the basic motions of the cobot.